Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and this is the 5-Minute Weekend Report. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets me know you're enjoying these videos. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, liftoff. This week we had another successful Starlink satellite launch. This one went off without a hitch. Started with this picture perfect launch. Then a first stage separation. A perfect fairing separation of two previously used fairings followed by a successful 20-second boost-back burn. Then, a beautiful booster landing, which happened to be the fourth landing of this booster. Then last but not least, a flawless Starlink satellite deployment. Wow, guys, this never gets old. Then, to top it all off, we had SN4 tank section make its way to the launch pad. This is happening so quickly anymore, it's unbelievable. If it wasn't for Boca Chica Gale and Blab Padre, we wouldn't be seeing this. Thank you so much for the effort you guys put out. I don't know what your thoughts are, but I'm feeling really good about this one. Depending on what happens and we get some good pressure tests, we might actually see a hop test. I'm really looking forward to that. Mark my words, guys. When this thing actually goes into orbit, I'm going to find a way to be there. Trust me on that one. I know I've been super critical of this, but think about this for a minute. They don't even build water towers this quickly. And this is a spacecraft. This is amazing. What I wouldn't give right now to be about 20 years younger and be on the crew building these things. But if they accomplish this and I get to see it happen, it'll all be worthwhile. And what do we have here? I kind of remember back in November doing a video on heat tiles. If you haven't seen it, it's worth going back and checking it out. SpaceX is going with hexagonal tiles. The reason for this is, when you place the tiles in this configuration, the superheated plasma that flows across the bottom of the ship has no way to get into the seams and erode the tiles. And also, as I thought, this tweet from Elon Musk says that they will be using steel studs to mount the tiles. The tiles on the space shuttle were glued on. This makes it so they don't have to worry about them coming off during flight. Another question was asked of Elon, what stage of testing do you expect the recent structural changes will most affect? I kind of remember a couple videos back asking that same question. Well, Elon answers SN5, and that happens to be the one being constructed right now. These are a few of the reasons I have a good feeling about it. They're building SN5 while they're testing SN4. These things are going together faster than Legos. This here is the mob. These are my patrons. There are some amazing people. You guys are what helps me keep this thing going week after week. I have no words to describe how happy I am you're part of the mob. Thank you so much, guys. And you too can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out in the description. This has been your 5-Minute Weekend Report. This is Spaceman Dave. Have a great weekend and be safe. We'll see you again next week.